Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So today we've got a system from the user uh, Tortellini Ratatouille, so um, this is their first system apparently, so it's called the uh, Clarabelle system. So without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, check it out. So subscribe, it should be here. Here we go, okay, let's see what we got. Now, he gave us the strict orders not to unpause the simulation, so we're definitely going to have to unpause it. So, let's see what we got. Oh, I sense the lag. Okay, right. There it is. All right, nice. Okay, do not unpause the system. Uh, several things are unstable. Oh, we're definitely going to unpause. Uh, this is my first system, so I hope you enjoy. There are also a few bugs, so let me list them out. Um, yeah, we'll just ignore the bugs. Okay, so... If you want to read them, they are there. Um, okay, so uh, the star itself, Clarabelle, is a star that is around twice the size and mass of the sun. It's mysteriously pink and has nine planets and four dwarf planets orbiting in it. Uh, Candleshade, Canyon, Wiggy, Bumble, Hells, Rock. Okay, so there are all the planets. Okay, so rocky planets. So first up, we got Candleshade. Right, so that is this object here. It's a dead orange rock that has a very large and oh, that is a very large and massive planet. It has no atmosphere, but does have a moon. Its moon is called Quet. Cool design. I like it. Um, what I'm going to do is um, we're going to go to realistic lighting. There, yeah, that's better. So that's what it should look like with the starlight. Cool. All right. There's definitely something laggy in here. It's got to be some sort of ring. Yeah, there's rings. There's there's an asteroid belt. Yeah, that's what's causing the lag. Okay. So there's candle shade. It has a moon as well. Where's the moon? Moon? Where is candle shade moon? Uh. Oh, it's a it's a dead rock. With... Oh no! I was reading the. Was I reading the wrong one? It's a candle shade. It's a dead rock with a... golden fringes on its edges, craters. It's out of sequence. It's a deep worn orange color. It's pretty much the cooler, awesome version of Mercury. But be sure to look at it with and without the atmosphere. Okay. Yeah, apologies for the lag, guys, but yeah, the simulation is it's because of the asteroid belt in here. Uh, so there it is. That's it without um, this atmosphere up there. Cool. Looks like he based that off Pluto originally. So there's candle shade. Cool. I'm just going to delete the particles. They're just getting really annoying. That's better. Right. There's candle shade. Okay, next up we got um, Kaon. It's a dead orange world that is very large and a massive planet. It has no atmosphere, but it does have a moon. The moon is called Quet. Okay, so there it is. So that's the one I originally read on by mistake. So there's Quet. Over here. So it has a green moon. Okay. So there it is. Nice. Good, good. Alright, where are we heading next? Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, next up we've got Wiggy over here. Or Wiggle. is a bluish purplish planet with a beautiful atmosphere. Um, there is not much to see on the ground except for a brilliant um, ferocious sky at moon and midday. It has two moons called uh, Serpentine and Crowjet. One ambitious uh, or astronaut, it says, but astronaut wanted uh, someone to live in his retirement till the end of his life. He was the first one to step foot on here and gave all of the scientists to bumble the only images of Wiggle known to them. He died 20 years later of radiation. Ah. So there it is. And then there's also um, the two moons. It's got a blue uh, asteroid there and then Crowjet over here. It's just a red asteroid. Okay. Cool. Uh, there we go. Cool. Okay, so next up we're taking a bit of a jump down. So they're both captured asteroids. Okay. Next up we have got Bumble. Okay. Or Bumble. Yeah. Is the Earth equivalent of this solar system. Alright. It thrives with life and water. There is a species of aliens that are high tech and more advanced technology wiser than us humans. They can build a spacecraft that can carry two men in 30 minutes. This planet has one moon, few. Uh, the moon based off of Titan. There's a thing on its surface that is very flat and all one colour. I can't tell if it's a bug or if it's meant to be this way. Let's have a look. Uh, there it is. Let's have a little look under here. Yeah, I'm not sure what that's all about. Uh, it's, yeah, there's definitely maybe a bug or something going on there. But there it is. So, cool. And actually, the Earth-like planet itself. Let's have a look here. So, let's check its stats out. Oh wow, okay. Uh da, 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 da. So that's zero. Oh. So no oh there's no water on it, that's why. Let's give it a bit of water. Maybe it's maybe it's supposed to have water, maybe it isn't, but I don't know. Oh. Well the water's not even appearing anyway, okay, never mind. So there's that. Cool. Next up we have got Hell's Rock over here, okay. 
Uh, da -da -da. where are we? Is this one even, is there even a description for this? Uh, I can't find it. Oh, that's it. Ah, okay, it's a dwarf planet. A red rock with lots of water. It's based off Europa. Nice. It says Hell's Rock. Uh, next up, we have got this one over here. Oh my god, right, there's a lot of reading. Cora, a caramel coloured gas giant that is a little bigger than Jupiter. It is not very interesting, but does have five moons. Okay, cool. So, there they are. So, we've got Noble, a black rock with gold deposits floating through space. Because this, people on Bumble are very interested in the moon and have a few mines. Alright. Next up, we've got Rika. It's a black rock floating through space with lakes of mysterious glowing blue liquid called Avi. It's used to travel to other places at light speed. If you hold a glass jar to the ground, it will get hot. So hot, the fact it starts to fire. If you throw something into that fire, it will break down to particles. Okay, that's pretty insane stuff. Alright, says Rika. Sadly, it doesn't hurt for living beings. Uh, next up, we got uh, this one over here. Cell RE, a green world that... Uh, with a green atmosphere and well, it pretty much speaks for itself. Okay. It's got a nice looking one, actually. I do quite like that one. Uh, what's this one? Uh, Choto, a world with white atmosphere. That's not very important. So there it is there. It's also they're all stint tinted by the star colour as well. And next up, we've got a Lito, yellowy orange world of lakes of water. Cool. So let's actually uh, go to... There you are. So that's what they actually do look like without the uh, star colour interfering. Nice. Uh, next up, we have got this one over here. Seen a latter, a world that is pretty much the Saturn equivalent of the solar system. It doesn't have much that is important. It does have three moons. Okay. So we've got a garnet, a moon with a weird colour on its surface. Oh my, what the hell is that? That is very strange. Why have you done that? Look at this. What is that all about? That's a very strange object. I'm guessing that was an asteroid texture like Phobos or Deimos customised. That's my best guess. Uh, next up we've got Gardener. A moon with a blue atmosphere. There is a black surface as well. Be sure to turn the ice off and look at it without its atmosphere. Okay. Ah, okay. Interesting. So there's that one. Uh, and then we got Iris, or Ira over here. A moon with water that is very dim. That's that one. Okay. All right, where are we going next? We're heading to uh, Iris next. A gas giant with rings. There are two moons. Oh, that's a nice looking gas giant as well. So two unimportant world moons around it. So there they are. So at the top there. Can't even see that one. It's a very dim world. Oh, there it is. Cool. That's a nice looking gas giant. I do like that one. Next up, we got uh, this one. Craymore. The Uranus equivalent. A gas giant with two rings and two moons. So there it is. Yeah, there. Well, that was what was lagging the simulations. All the rings. Um, cool. So it has a red fiery world moon there. And the other one is this one. Okay, so unimportant rock. <laughs> Next up, we've got uh, this one. Osha, a gas dwarf with way too many rings and a moon. Yeah, okay, so we'll have to view that in a minute once we do it. Um, the moon that used to be an asteroid got flung out to the edge of the system where it caught it. So it's just got, um, yeah, just got um, asteroids around it as well. So there it is. A very interesting design, that one. So it's grey and it's all blacked out on the outside. Interesting. Right, and then next up, it's just a dwarf planet. So we've got. Um, so Elemento, a world with virtually no light at this point. Go to view light and change it to studio or directional. So that's what we got. So very, very dark world there. Uh, and then we got Sup Suprema. Suprema, it's still dark out here in artificial light on. This is a green planet with dust on the surface. That's why no one is bothered going this. You can see in the picture up there as well. Arsenic dusted on the surface. Okay. Uh, and then this one. Creatu. Because it's the furthest body from the start, it's interesting to the scientist on Bumble. It's a mountainous in coverness and very far away. The scientist sent a probe out to orbit it and has never taken photos. Currently, they have one photo that is revolutionary breakthrough. Uh, okay. 
There we are. Nice. So it's a very Aussie, very, very distant. Or well, the most distant world in this simulation. So there it is. Nice. But what we'll do is we'll reopen it and we'll view it with the rings quickly and have to uh, suffer with the lagginess. So we need to travel to the gas giants to try and find the rings. Right, come on. Alright, here we are. Alright, so rings. We need to head to the Uranus, Saturn Uranus looking world. So there's. Okay, so this one has rings. There you go. So that's um, rings there. Then we have the Uranus equivalent. Also has rings. Yeah, this is why the simulation is laggy. It's got all these rings. Uh, in here. Uh, does this one have rings? No, that one didn't have rings. Okay. But yeah, there you go. So you can see that you saw the planets with the rings there. And I think, yeah, there's definitely an asteroid belt around the star as well. So we'll delete that again. But yeah, what we'll do now is he said not to play it. So we're going to play it. Oh, oh, and immediately there's problems. Oh, dear. Okay. What has happened here? Oh, no. They're all broken. So let's. Uh... Oh, dear. We've broken it. Oh, man. Okay. So, there it is there. So, that's absolute carnage. So, if all line up with the system, though, so they've got the pink star. Quite interesting shade. I did like this gas shot. So I think that's the best looking one. This one's also really cool. The uh, customized, like, rocky planet there. But, yeah, there we are. So, there's a nice line. I did like this little gas dwarf as well. That was cool. But, yeah, there we are, guys. So, that does it for this simulation today. So, yeah, that was the uh, the Clarabelle system. I'm saying that right. So... Yeah, let me know what you think of that down below in the comments. And again, a massive thank you to the guy who submitted this, um, Tortelleni Ratatouille, for uh, submitting this. And yeah, if you'd like to send in your own simulations to this series, guys, make sure to join my Discord server. Link in the description where you can upload your systems there. Please note there is a queue, though, so it will take me a bit of time to get to it. But yeah, I'll get to it eventually. And yeah, if that all said and done, make sure you have a great day, guys. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.